In this video, I'll walk you through how to create this scrolling text animation completely in Figma. So next time you need to present a design like this, you can impress your clients with an animated page instead of just a static one. So in Figma, we're gonna start with whatever our word is and whatever our repeating shape or icon if you wanna have a divider in the middle. We're gonna select both of these together and click Shift A, which will apply auto layout. I'm just gonna name this layout auto layout as later on when I talk about selecting different levels, we know which one we're talking about. So from here, we wanna select both of the inside shapes and text and copy it twice. As we wanna make sure that if this is our frame and this is our screen, it's the length that it will run off the side of the screen but you'll be able to always see the word. So from here, if you scroll it across, because we have it twice, we can get all the way there and you can see the word coming back in again. Now that we have this auto layout frame selected, and it's centered, we're gonna click Command G, which is gonna put it in a group. We'll just lay this grouped layer. This is important because later on, we wanna be able to select the layer within it as we slide it. So now that that's grouped, we want to click create component and just lay, name it text scroll and now we want to select the text scroll layer which was previously our grouped layer and drag it down to be the width of our frame so 1440 and now we want to select our auto layout layer and click left align. And because our line's getting cut off here, one way to fix that up is because it's a stroke, it's cutting off half of it. Just come into your auto layout layer, come into advanced, and where it has strokes, instead of being excluded, we wanna include that. So you can see your entire stroke there. So now we wanna select our text scroll layer, which was our grouped layer, and we wanna click clipped content. So what that does is that if we drag anything outside of that bounding box, it's as if it's going behind a wall and you can't see it anymore. It's still there, but you can't see it anymore. Now with all that set up, we want to add a variant and we want to drag the second variant, the auto layout layer, so that it is lined up perfectly with the first one. This is helpful at this stage, zoom right on in into pixel level so you can get it pixel by pixel. And now it's lined up perfectly because the trick here is that as we set up the smart animate next, as it comes down to the next layer, it's gonna look like it's the exact same thing as it hits here, and then it pings back to the top one and it restarts the loop. So now let's build that out with prototype. So we wanna select prototype. So we wanna drag a noodle from the top one to the second one, set it to after delay of one second, and change it to smart animate. And then we wanna bump up this time to something longer that feels good to you and then changes from ease out to linear. As we're kind of doing a bit of a trick here, if it's not actually completely going around in a circle, but it's looping, but you can't see where the loop starts and stops. And now with that, you wanna drag one from the bottom one back up to the top one and set this to after delay of one second. But instead of smart animate this time, we wanna set it to instant. So it changes back instantly and you can't see it. Now if we preview that, it's really helpful with the new preview setting that you can preview a frame instead of having to go into prototype. Now you can see how it's kind of scrolling. You can't actually tell where it's starting and it's stopping and it's resetting. Something I find really helpful about this preview is that you can, maybe we want to make it really fast and see what it looks like when it's really fast. And you can kind of see what it looks like. You just have to click restart prototype, see what it looks like. So if it feels a bit slow to you, maybe knock it down to 7.5 and restart that. So with that, you just select the copy and put it back in your frame, line it up with the edge, we click present. You can see your marquee text scrolling effect. This is a great text animation to learn in Figma. If you wanna learn how to create a more advanced text animation in Figma, check out this video.